Evaluation question three. What have you learned from your audience feedback? During my coursework, I used audience feedback to structure my work and improve upon areas of other work, whether that is my media products or my blog. This audience feedback was incredibly important as it gave me an understanding of what my media products should look like. For example, if my magazine should have a minimalist design or something else through the use of my demographics. Also, it gave me an insight into the content the media products should have. Another reason that the audience feedback was really important to my products was because I used Lenang's theory of imaginary entity. This is used by major conglomerates and independent companies as a way to imagine their ideal, their ideal audience. For example, the things they would wear, eat, drink, or what music they'd listen to. I use this technique to form most of my audience profile. Moreover, I looked at real magazines that had similar audience, so I could use the codes and conventions of those magazines in order to structure my own. For example, I looked at a lot of magazine front covers designs that were appeared to look like upside down Polaroid pictures, as they used really thick white borders with all the information at the top. A good example of this would be the Surf magazine. This design was really interesting as it suited my audience well because I used Walter Lippmann's theory of stereotype to encode the effect of a Polaroid image as my audience, which were primarily uh, hipsters, stereotypically like them. I used multiple types of audience research like an audience profile that was formed from the questions answered, by my, answered uh, in my questionnaire. I created this using Google Forms because it was much easier to distribute to people because it was just a link. However, sometimes it didn't work and so the results were invalid. The good thing about my questionnaire is that it can reach a lot of people relatively easily without costing anything. This allows you to create this allows you to receive a relatively large sample of information from different types of people. However, the disadvantage of using a questionnaire is that sometimes the people that they reach give answers that lack conscious response. Furthermore, some people may interpret a question differently to how you intended the message to be conveyed. This can lead to skewed results, which is an issue I ran into. I also use peer assessments of my work to develop it further. The advantages of this are that the suggestions that are given are concrete and usually easy to follow. However, the disadvantages to this is that only one or maybe two people give an opinion of your work. And sometimes these opinions could be completely different, making some of the suggestions hard to follow. What I learned from this audience research influenced my magazine greatly, however. For example, I found music is really important to my audience because it stands as a backbone for their social life and so I knew that I needed to include that in my work. I made the main article of my magazine about a new band in Sheffield that was rapidly rapidly gaining in popularity. I also used the same mag I also used the same band on the front cover of my magazine and in my website. The second thing I learned about my audience is that fashion was just important to them as music in terms of their social life. This influenced me to use an ad page for a clothing company, which I also used as a link in my website. If I was to conduct more audience research in the future, I would make sure that my questions in my questionnaire were as short as possible and that the questionnaire was reliable to ensure that the audience understands, as well as showing my magazine to a wider variety of people. This would ensure that my questionnaire would have accurate results and would further assist in the production of any future media products.